The Mendip Hills area of outstanding natural beauty is one of the best places to live, work and visit in our part of the world. So most of us were horrified when National Grid unveiled plans for enormous electricity pylons, each 100 foot high, that's the size of Nelson's column, smack bang through the middle of it. We all came together and marched. We wrote letters of complaint. And I spent hours in meetings with engineers and managers from National Grid in London. And we won. The electricity wires will be buried underground through this part of their route, rather than strung from pylons. And as a bonus, we even got rid of the existing old pylons that predated the AONB as well. But now there's a new threat from developers who want to carpet local green fields around villages like Kongsbury, Banwell, Langford or Bleeden in unwanted housing sprawl. I'm working with local community groups to oppose them wherever I can. I've even taken it all the way to the top, getting the Cabinet Minister Eric Pickles to intervene to stop as many of them as I can. It's not that we're against building new homes. In fact, most of us want new buildings so our children can one day afford to buy and live in the area they grew up. But it needs to be in the right place. We need to build up, not out, to regenerate the middle of towns like Western, not concrete over the beautiful countryside that makes our home so special in the first place. I'm not going to give up on this, and I know you won't either. Let's keep fighting and try to win a second victory like we did with the pylons. We've achieved a lot already but there's more to do.